This video is brought to you by Let Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice oriented courses for serious music producers. Um. Hey, Del Larson here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to layer neural bases through this little groove I made. So if you are interested in this sound and the whole project, just check the descriptions for my Patreon. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you dig the content and don't forget to add your comment below, I love hearing your voice. So in a few seconds I'm going to teach you how to make really fat sub sounds, how to make middle bass that gives the body of the sound and a so-called character layer that really forms the whole sound and make it memorable, so let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the bass sound that I'm talking about. Now this is a very simple bass and contains three layers and the first one is the simplest one, the sub. Now how we make subs is basically again very very simple. You take a sine wave and distort it. Okay, let me show you how I made that. So this is the sub here. So I use an analog BD sign and on the filter I cranked out the drive and in the FX I use some distortion and some filters to get rid of those frequencies that don't really sound nice. So basically this is it. Now let's jump to the next bass which is the middle bass. And on itself it sounds like this. It is again very very simple. All you need is an I has kick wavetable, bend pass it, distort it and filter it a little. Let me show you, it is very very simple. So I have an iCast has kick, no warping mode, a band pass filter with some drive, some distortion, OTT, an equalizer to get rid of those middle frequencies and a low pass filter because we don't want very harsh sounding middle basses. Okay and an EQ to get rid of the very lows and even more highs. And that's all. Now let's jump to FM8, that is the top layer. Now this bass involves lots of frequency modulation because as you can hear we have some high screeching sound but the distortion is what really makes the sound so let me jump into the Trash 2 and show you what it does. So here is Trash 2, it's a preset called Hydra, it's a modified preset from the library. So it has two stages, stage 1 is busted distortion, stage 2 is double stages drive and this is all basically the only thing I did in stage one I applied a filter to get rid of the very highs and it has some filter to boost this frequency that really gives some very nice distortion it always gives very nice overtones when it distorts so as you can hear it does really matter what you do with filtering okay I had some convolution thing And some compression. Okay now one thing you need to know about this that it generates lots of noise so this is why I had to go to the saturator apply this envelope so basically just mute the noise at the end of every note so this is very important if you want to keep clean. Okay so I added a house effect some EQing OTT and multiband compression and the gate to gate the noise basically again and in FM8 it is not very complicated, so let's go to the operators. The main operator is a square on ratio 1 in this envelope, so basically it's just a plug and it is modulated by E and B. B is again just make the plug plug more and it runs into a filter, bypass filter on this shape. Okay, now there is one thing you need to know about FM8, it really needs unison, okay? So if you go to master, you definitely always want to add some unison, because without that the whole synth will sound very weak, but with some unison it can get alive. And what I did is to change the sound at the second half or the second part of the drop, so coming from this to this, it's very simple and actually that is my favorite thing, in the Easy Morph tab, play around with the harmonic knob. What it does is basically just changes the ratio on every operator inside FM8 at the same time. So 
it's definitely worth playing around with it. And there is one tiny little sound here that I resampled. So let me show you what I did here and how it sounds. Now this is the same sound that basically I just resampled from this group, this hydro bass, and transposed it down to five semitones and applied some huge process chains. So I started with a bandpass feeder, three instances of OTTs, like why not? Some EQ and the saturation and that's all, it sounds really really great. Especially with the original basses. Okay, so this is a sound and I added even more serums to fill up the gaps. The nice things here are these Foley sounds, these percussive Foley sounds that plays really well with the serum basses or at least with this serum bass. Okay, and basically this is all. If you want to grab the Hydra bass, you can find it on my Patreon for $2. And if you want to grab the whole project, you can get it too for $10 a month. I hope you enjoyed this. See you guys next time. Peace.